Okay. So now if we look at number two, number two, it says how, again, you're calculating the protons, electrons, and neutrons in a neutral potassium atom. Now, when they say neutral, which is like the other question, notice neutral means we're not talking about the charge. But if you look at number three, this one says in a potassium ion, there is a difference in terms of how you're going to do it, okay? So I'm going to actually explain to you all how to do number two so that you'll know how to do number three. But remember, electrons is based on the atomic number. So the atomic number will tell you how many electrons you have. So for number two, remember, if the atomic number for potassium is 19, guess what else is going to be 19? Your protons and your electrons. So that means we need to look for 19 two times within the answer. So I know that 19 protons, 19 electrons is in letter A. 19 protons and 19 electrons also. 19 protons and 19 electrons also in letter C. But only one of those answers is correct. Because if you look at letter B, there's only 19 electrons only, but not for the protons. And in letter D, there's 19 protons only, but not for the electrons. So that's how you're getting rid of letter B and letter D, off gate. So you've already narrowed your answer choice down to just two of them. Now, to calculate your neutrons, all you got to do to get your neutrons, you're going to say 39 minus 19, and you get 20. So the answer that has 20 in the answer for the neutrons is letter A. So now if you get the wrong formula, you will get the wrong answer.